What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? Public service announcement from this TikTok trucker. He says, we fool out here. He said, don't be fooled. Don't, don't be fooled by this trucker shortage. No, 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 no. We fool out here. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Yo, so um, we need to have a talk real quick, all right? And this is particularly to you people who are either in CDL school right now or y'all are contemplating C CDL school right now. Whatever it is you're doing, you're thinking about coming out here and driving trucks. Don't do this shit. We fool. Is way too many of us out here as it is right now. This bullshit they kicking to y'all talking about oh, it's a trucker shortage. No, it's not. You know, this the media that puts it out there too. It's the media. Is it's these whack ass mega carriers that comes on the media, you know, places like Swift, Snyder, those those people that be coming on the news talking about. Oh, it's a trucker shortage out here. We we need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of truckers. Bro, bro, y'all been kicking that trucker shortage shit since I first started. Back in back back in 2014. It was a trucker shortage then. It's seven years later, 2022. Eight years? It will be eight, but 2022. And y'all still talking trucker shortage. I don't understand why y'all talking trucker shortage where every school is filled to capacity with people that's coming in, getting their license. Simply because of somebody telling them it's a trucker shortage, come out here and make this kind of money. Simply because somebody out here telling them, oh, well, you can start off at making 90K a year. No, no. Telling those same people year after year after year after year that there's A, a trucker shortage, and B, you can make 90K a year. Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Because... Not only schools, but you also got these trucking companies that sponsor schools. You even got trucking companies that even have schools. Don't forget about them bringing in about 30, 40 people a week. A week. A week. Okay? I mean, they, they only teaching them half of what they need to know to get their license. Listen to me now, half of what they need to know to get their license. There's two companies out here that I will point out that you can get your license regardless if you pass or fail. CR England, CRST. All because y'all on the news in the media talking about there's a trucker shortage. Let's get back at it. It's not. You can go to damn near any truck stop you want to between the hours of 5 and 6 a.m. You buy, can't get in that motherfucker. You can't get out. It's overly full. We done paid for parking. People is parking in the fuel line and trying to sleep beside the scale truck. Don't do it. Don't don't come out here. We full. Now, as far as parking goes, I, I do agree with you, but if you're a, a, a you know, like me, you know, I, I drive rather during the day or drive at night Luckily for me, I am able to find parking. And with that said, we're going to talk about Trucker's Path. Yes, sir, Trucker's Path, the truck driving app for truck drivers. Yes, in Trucker's Path, all you got to do is open it up and you'll see that not only that you can find truck parking at the majors, but you can also find truck parking at mom and pops, fields, Burger Kings, McDonald's, and even some Walmart thrown up in there. You can always find some type of parking. Trucker's Path. Make sure you download it from the Play Store today. And 
I get it. You know, I get <laughs> I get the inclination. You know, the big booty girl on this app, on, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, you know, you watching her and you know she oh man, she look good when she when she doing it. Listen, all right, she not keeping it all the way but with you, okay? She been sitting two, three days waiting on the load, alright, you know, you, you think she out here single, she got a dude at home or on the truck with her that she ain't telling y'all about, alright, you not finna go get your CDL and bump into her, y'all gonna get married, fall in love, have kids, it's not gonna happen, alright, that, that's not how this going. And then, <laughs> we fighting with the broker, we fighting with DOT, we fighting with the FMCSA, we fighting with, you know, customers, you know, they want you to do a load that you pull four thousand dollars they want you to do the same load for half the price this week and it was just four grand two weeks ago a month ago i right? we not doing it you know because we standing our ground meanwhile there's some idiot somewhere else that's doing it for fifteen hundred dollars all right and it's just it's all bad right now please for the love of god go do anything else right now but come out here trying to drive these trucks all right wait the shit get better we not short we super full. We over capacity. All right. Go do something else right now. We'll call y'all when we need y'all. It's not going to get better, bro. <laughs> it's not going to get better. Drivers, what's your thoughts on this, man? It's not going to get better. It's not going to get better at all. It's going to probably get worse and worse and worse. I don't think it's going to get better. I don't think it's going to be get better, but I, I agree with everybody that's over here rushing because, of course, they see the big booty girl. They they see her over here being happy in the truck, over here showing what life like for her in the truck, which is not always the case. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Y'all not gonna y'all y'all not gonna see her in the fuel islands. You're not even gonna see her at the truck stop, bro. These TikTok females that be on TikTok over here talking about how great trucking is. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm I'm damn near all over, and I I don't see y'all. It's it's cold up here, cold and windy up here, and then I see come on TikTok. I see you in the sun. Only places I see sun is down in Florida. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you know what, bro? You know what? There's always. Always a few in the comment section that disavowed what you be saying, bro. This commenter right here says, don't listen to him. It's a lie, bro. It is not a lie. <laughs> it's not a lie. Okay. It's not a lie. I mean, this is, this is, you know, his opinion. That's all it is. Whether it's factual or actual or truth. But I don't think he's lying. I'm just saying he probably just saying it from his own opinion, bro. And this commenter says, he says, man, do it hell with what, what, bro, you can't even talk. You can't even talk. Okay. If you're going to talk, please type articulate. Okay. I, I don't, I don't understand your Ebonics in this right here, bro. Just saying. Drivers, what's your thoughts on this? Is is there a driver shortage? Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G and yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Sip on my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you no? Fuck around. Cause they got you insecure. You're feeling.